Yo, 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 it's Stag612. I want to make a quick video for y'all. So right now I'm in my 2005 Mitsubishi Endeavor. I patched the exhaust a couple weeks ago because it was leaking up at the front. And now just today, well, yesterday, I started hearing a small exhaust leak. And then now the entire exhaust right before the muffler rusted off. So I'm going to make this quick video for y'all um, of how I'm going to patch it up because this car is for sale right now. I put a lot of work into this car. I put a transmission in it. I bought this car for my neighbor for 150 bucks. It looked like shit when I got it. I took the Plasti Dip off the wheels, did some other stuff here and there, fixed the AC, the blower motor, put in a blower motor resistor, clean out the interior and everything. So basically it's a good car now. I'm going to show you all how I fixed the exhaust. I just stopped by Ace Hardware and picked up some of these HVAC clamps and I also have some JB Weld I got from Walmart. So right now I'm into the whole setup for about $10 and I'm going to make this video to show you all how I fixed the exhaust. So yeah, stay tuned. This is what I'm using, JB Weld steel stick. I'm gonna slap it all around the pipe and then I'm gonna put the clamps right on top of the JB Weld so it sticks. Okay, the JB Weld is on, so now it's time to put the clamps on. Okay, so that's it, the pipe is patched. I'm just gonna wait about an hour or so before I start it and make sure everything's good. It's been a couple hours. Some folks showed up like 20 minutes after that last clip y'all saw. They drove the car around and they liked it. The JB Weld was already set and everything by the time they, they got it and drove it, I was a little bit nervous that it wasn't gonna be fully cured yet and it might still leak a little bit, but fortunately it was all good. But for the sake of the video, I'm still gonna show you all how the exhaust sounds now that it's all cured and it's all good, but it's really quiet. It's just like how it was brand new. So yeah, there's the exhaust. It's all coming out of the tailpipe. That was it, man. That's all it takes to fix the exhaust. That only cost me $10. You know, what happens is when these exhausts, they rust out, they rust through in one spot up towards the front when you patch it, then the rest of the exhaust starts coming through the pipe like it was before. And the next weakest point, it's gonna break right there, so. Um, that's usually how it is. You all know I live up north. These issues with the exhaust rusting out, it happens all the time. I've patched multiple exhausts using that same exact method with the hose clamps and the JB Weld. What people don't understand about JB Weld is that it sticks to itself very well, but it doesn't stick to other things very well, including exhaust. So that's the reason you got to put the hose clamp on top of the JB Weld so it doesn't just pop off the second you start the car, which is usually what's going to happen if you don't do that. So... Yeah, I've patched multiple exhausts with a very high success rate using this same method. Hope you all like the video. I'm about to sell this car right now. I actually agreed. Uh, the people are coming right now. I just, I sold it for 3,500 bucks, which is, I basically tripled my money because I'm only into this car for about 1,200 right now. I daily drove this car for about a month. I actually bought it because I needed it. And the thing that I needed it for kind of fell through, so I don't I don't need the car anymore. But yeah, it has 132,000 miles. So it has low miles for a 2005. Yeah. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. As always, I'm grinding. I hope you all are doing the same. You all stay strong, stay healthy, stay inspired. I'm out. God bless.